Yo, what's up guys? MGOP1200 here, and today we've got another episode of our Stalkers of the Hun Hao Alliance Tours, and we've got a very good clan today. Um, it's actually Steeler's clan, um, and it's uh, she's the leader of the Alliance, so um, it's very special here. I'm here with Harry, and obviously Steeler, and a special guest from Steeler's clan. But anyway, hello guys. Hey. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, Harry, if you want to start off with the first question. So Steeler, what's your clan about? Oh, well, Reapers of Warframe is a uh, leaderboard clan. We are hugely into events. Um, events are pretty much what we showcase ourselves with. We've been number one mountain clan in the last three events, and uh, we've placed gold in the last four. Um, with that, you know, we require every uh, member of Reapers of Warframe to contribute. And that gives us, you know, research for dojo, um, bragging rights, trophies, all that good stuff. So our clan is first off an event clan, then we go into all the rest that you know, make a clan important, such as you know helping each other out, building up warframes, building up you know stronger weapons, um, everything and anything that clan members can contribute to, they do. So whether it's members or research or etc. Um, we are a top clan based on, on that, helping each other and being number one. Excellent. So um, you mentioned your clan being, uh, was it a mountain clan you said? Mm -hmm. Yep, um, mountain clan. So yeah, are you always at max members then or how, how does that work? Right now we're at 296 members. Um, we do have a policy with the clan that if you do not contribute to uh, Warframe clan events um, and we help you, um, can, you know, get your points. If you do not, we do remove you from the clan. Um, these rules are gone over, you know, with prior to joining us. So it seems like after events, uh, we, we end up losing probably around 50 to 60 members, and then we just recruit back up. So right now we are close to max, 300 being the max, we're at 296. We try to stay close to that. Um, we do have a number of really good recruiters for the clan, so you know that that definitely helps. It's not just uh, you know myself and Overkill, the other warlord recruiting. So yeah. All right, cool. Okay, uh, what's the recruitment status uh, requirements for your clan? Yep. Um, first, you have to be 18 years and older. Um, we have nothing against children. Uh, sausage here actually has a, a screaming kid in the background of his party <laughs> chat. Um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Anyways, um, we actually also do have a uh, clan dedicated to our members' children in our alliance. So, but oh, really? we, as a clan, are 18 plus. Uh, the next requirement is you must have 300 hours played or more to join our clan. Sometimes on occasion we do open up to recruiting lower ranks, um, lower hours played, but in order for us to achieve the number one spot with events, hours played is very important and you know it tends to, to help out when it comes to loadouts and builds and things like that if you have active players. So the more you play, the more hours you get, so there you go. Right, excellent. Um, so anyway, the last question before we get into the tour. Um, What's your view on the Alliance, given that you created it? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, my view on the Alliance is um, I love the Alliance. I think the Alliance is a great place to get help, to squat up, to you know, get answers you know, to your questions, um, to have a good time at. Um, you know, we started the Alliance with that vision, and we've kept that vision the entire time. So the Alliance is very important to me. Um, and you know, clan warlords of the alliance are, are extremely important because everything roots down from them. So the alliance, uh, to me, is is amazing. I love our members. I love our leaders. I love every part of it. Um, I enjoy the events. I, I love seeing you know people try their best to win competitions and you know fashion frames and everything else. So the alliance is is a big priority for me. Um, clan first, and then the alliance. All right, perfect. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, okay. Let, anyway, let's get into the dojo to start this tour. Anyway, let's go. Under our turkey, um, the, the 
clan members have said that the turkey. I still don't out. believe that's a turkey. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait to see this turkey. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm in the middle. Oh. oh. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, you did. You spawned right underneath the turkey. Um, if you look up. You we can... look up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's right there. Oh, jeez, it's right behind me. Oh, I see. Oh, I kind of see it. That's like, if you've seen Chicken Run. It's kind of like, <laughs> kind of like them. Anyways, this I'm is really Thanksgiving Turkey. Um, the celebration <laughs> was Thanksgiving Day coming at the end of November. Um, so where you spawn in is our trophies. Um, four golds, one I won't mention. Mm. Um, anyways, these are the trophies that we get from the events that we get number one in. So that's kind of where you spawn in. Um, so you kind of get to see that upon spawning. Mm. If mm. you um, jump up to the trade post up here, you can get a better view of that turkey. And you'll just see some kind of cool little things that we've done in the dojo. You know, raised nope. trees, floating trees, and you know, kind of mm. yin yang. This is the main main room. Most people tend to spend their time in here because they're trading or socializing or whatever, looking at the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sausage is always here. <laughs> um, up top here is our alliance and clan vault. Uh, a lot of times with trades, you know, we, we do help the clan members out a lot. So, uh, you know, we used to say, you know, hey, I'll give you this free, just throw some credits in the vault. Um, but, you know, we've got enough credits, we don't need to worry about that now. But <laughs> that's this cool room. Oh, brilliant. Um, these turtles, let me show you something here, because I, when I came to this clan, um, I kind of, I love turtles, but, you know, to me, they're, they're not really, I didn't understand why we had them. Mm. And, you know, sometimes <laughs> we run out of capacity in this room, so to me, I wanted to remove them. Well, something I found out was when Overkill1469, who is the founder of the clan, when he first um, started the clan, the, uh, his other warlord moved him up to a mountain tier. And they, were, they only had like seven members. And so the resource was kind of crazy, you know, to, to build things. And, and so Overkill came in and he completed this turtle and then mm. one all the way across on the other side. And those were the two things <laughs> as mountain tier with 11 mm. members that he actually, it was the first thing that he oh, contributed mm. to in the clan. So these are important to him. Um, <laughs> that's why they remain. They will mm. not go away. <laughs> um, so, kind of a weird little thing about them. Mm. What about the bush? Does the okay. bush count as well? <laughs> no, the, no. I don't think the bush was there. I think more so just the turtles. But <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, he's, he's eaten. That's his lunch. Mm. <laughs> um, so brilliant. anyways, the, um, the main floor here, I mean, there's, you know, there's an elevator on the other side. Um, the Loki statue, Loki room is here. Um, there's really not too much. There's, uh, you know, your typical gardens, those kind of things that branch off. Um, the, the dojo's huge. I'll, I'll forewarn you. It's six floors. Um, so Ooh. I highly suggest not running around. I, I would I would suggest using the transporters. Um, <laughs> you know, just because it's, it's, you can get lost real easy. I still get lost, and I've been with the clan for almost um, three years. So <laughs> I don't run around. I get so mm. frustrated and just leave the dojo because I mm. cannot figure my way out. So <laughs> we will go to the transporter here. Um, okay. Obviously, we're on the third floor. So one of the first rooms you'll see is Atmospheric Orgasm Chasm. Um, oh. This is a glitched room that I created. Um, you can go to that now. You will spawn half in the map and half Aww. out. Um, so if you go through into space, you're in blackness. If you come back out, you'll see the oh. solar rails um, that we've built that are out there in space. So this is just a fun room. Um, if you jump off, fall off, you can glitch out and get stuck um, and have to oh. close. So. <laughs> Bye, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, he landed in the Oracle Lab down below. That's kind of actually how I figured you can't do a lot of these glitches now. Um, some mm. can, but yeah. But yeah. anyways, that's the story. Well, there's a Lisette here so as well. Is... Yeah, that's cool. You see yeah. a ship. Yeah, I didn't this realize that you see yeah. Lisettes flying around here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the Lissettes are from flying by you. It's pretty cool. Mm. Awesome. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just a fun room. Nothing, nothing <laughs> really fancy about it. 
Yeah, um, cool. Next is the Oricum Lab observation floor. Mm -hmm. um, another room that, you know, another Loki area. The observation lab is, is present. I have no idea where, so if you ask me to take you to it, um, you know, good luck with that. It could be this <laughs> photo. Yeah, there it is. So the observatory is here. Um, cool. Yeah, mm. it's. I love you know, the uh, every emblem. Has one. Yeah, I know. The mm. emblem is really cool, huh? It's cool. <laughs> One of our old fun members created that. Mm. So we can go back to the uh, transporter here. And this was important um, back when rails were um, available to fight on the Oricon lab room, mm -hmm. because this is where you would come and build your specters, this is where you'd build your rail, this is where you configure your rail. Um, so this room was was important. So we did actually create an, a transport just here. So when the clan members needed to go and donate cosmic specters, which is the toughest regiment to bring on a rail, um, that they would have an easy way to get here. So up yeah, I'm above actually this, mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised um, what with being a mountain clan. There's not many transporters, at least that I can see. No, no, we've we've got the rooms, you know, that that everyone needs, and that's it. Um, reactor end is just a reactor floor. Uh, I would, you can go there if you want, but it's just reactors, nothing else. Um, same thing with the reactor floor. So reactor end is where the reactors ended. If we ever want to build further on, we know where to go. Uh, Research second floor and robots. That'll be the next room of importance that we can go to. Um, this has our friendly robots. It's the second floor, do you say? Right. Oh yeah, cool. Yep, second floor. Oh, mm -hmm. I like the little hat. It's another turkey. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one on the left with the gun is Mick Gifro, and the other is T Bag Terry. T Bag around. Terry, excellent. Yep, those are the clan names that um, were given to him. So, Brilliant. Uh, on the four, um, four corners are all your research labs. So, this is the second most important room in your dojo. Mm. Um, the trading being the first and your research labs to get all your goodies. We are 100% um, complete on all of our research. Ooh. How long did it take you to do the hammer? Um, we typically get our research done day one of whenever something comes out. Um, guys oh. will rush into the clan knowing when it drops, when an update comes, mm. and half the time I log on and the research is already complete and building. So. Oh, you know, we've got a very helpful clan. They mm. want the new, new goodies and they're willing to contribute to them, mm. oh, which excellent. is great. You know, it doesn't mm. just rely on Warlord's shoulders, so mm. that's fantastic. I'm um, really Terry? enjoying the little dragon underneath the gun. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really good yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Through here is our chariot. Um, G-Mac, a second in our clan, created this chariot. Mm. Um, Necros is chilling up on it. This is very cool. <laughs> Yeah, just a fun little room. And then the uh, next room I like, it's my, my parkour room. Um, <laughs> I, I enjoy coming in here and just trying to bounce around on only like, you know, the floor is lava in a sense mm. and not touch the floor and yeah. So this is kind of a well, fun room to play in. Just a bunch of raised you know, mm. platforms. So it can be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Half an hour in here. <laughs> Sausage, do you like this room? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I don't like parkour. Um, and I believe the last room, we can go back to the transporter here. Um, the last room of any real significance um, is I name the room. Um, it's my room. It's my favorite room. It's Solar System SG33 after me. Um, so we can go there. This is kind of my place Ooh. where I can hang out. And <laughs> I will fall down. I will fall. I nearly fall off immediately. <laughs> you can actually walk off of this. Yeah, you oh, can cool. walk really? on. You can walk safely get back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent. Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is. Mm. This is a fun, I, I just enjoy this, it's very peaceful. Mm. Um, so. If you're in that room down there, can you actually see people on top? Because I know this is glass, yep. isn't it? Oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's hilarious. Yep. Yep. <laughs> there you go. 
That's yeah, cool. there's right. loads of gardens. I mean, we could sit there and run through all of them, but mm. I mean, there's there's a ton of gardens. <laughs> mm. That's just, I'm just the coolest one. I'm just going from room to room right now, and I can't see where I'm going. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just totally get lost easy in the surgery. <laughs> Whoa. Many um, coughs. So yeah, we can go to the gardens if you want. Um, that's, you know, endless gardens for as far as you can really yeah. run until you hit a red door. I think this is red doors in this room. <laughs> this literally just straight. I can't actually see the maps. A bit confusing. <laughs> yeah, they're all exactly. layered on top of each they're other, they're, you know. Yeah, they're inlaid, mm. yeah. It's very crazy. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's the dojo. Um, there's a ton of other areas that, you know, I, I like this garden. This is kind of cool. Um, <laughs> that I forgot even exist. But yeah, that's the dojo. Excellent. Well, cool. Um, so, uh, Sausage, I know you haven't really said much yet, but um, I'd just like to ask, like, what do you think of this clan? Like, what's your general opinion of it? Just any anything you think that should be said, just just say it. <laughs> well, I've actually been in a group groups for quite a while, mm. but since I've joined, I've loved it. Um, I try and help them out as much as possible, um, because of how welcoming it was to me when I first joined. The teamwork is absolutely excellent. Um, the support from the older players and the newer players, to be honest. Not because I'm not more friends, so if I had to choose anywhere to be, it wouldn't be here. Oh, awesome. We yeah. love sausage. <laughs> and sausage loves you. <laughs> 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 anyway, brilliant. Okay, um, so uh, if anyone else has got anything to add, uh, Harry, are you, are you good? Yeah, I'm actually curious with, because um, you're a very important member in the Alliance, like really, <laughs> kind of big up there. So, uh, I'm curious, you mentioned the Al clan loses members when uh, you do an event about 50 and then you, everybody mm -hmm. starts recruiting, right? Mm -hmm. How long does it take for this clan to fill up during that period, would you say? The last event, um, we removed 70 players. Um, and we also, just to put this in there, we do also have a 10-day um, a kick. So, right. soon we lose to inactivity. Um, but we message every single player that is offline at seven days. We send them a PSA message and we let them know, especially during events, but we do it regardless and let them know that they're at seven days offline. They will be removed at day 10 if they do not log in. Um, and, you know, if we are, if there is a Warframe event going on, those usually last seven to 10 days. So with that, you know, we send that, you know, we need your help. We will help you. Um, please log in. The you know to get your points. You know we set a mandatory amount. It might be 50. It might be 150. It could be a half hour mission or a, a two hour mission. It really all depends on what type of event DE brings us. But you know we will help all. So you know we send that message saying we need your contribution to this event and it'll take two hours one time in this whole entire week. Please log in and let us know you need help. And um, if after them receiving those messages and they still don't, then yeah, we do remove. Um, to get back up to max capacity from the last event took about a month and a half. Um, and it, it can be tough because we don't blindly recruit. You know, we just don't send right. invites. You, know, you have to be 18, you have to have 300 hours, you have to agree to our rules. You know, and you know, we do want to make sure that we are getting, you know, good respectful friendly people you know so you know we suggest party chats to do that um, you know messaging back and forth just asking some simple questions what's your favorite frame how would you handle situations um, so you know it can be tough to get back up to max after that um, but you know it's we've been at this now almost three years you know it's we're we're used to it and um, you know we're about getting quality players. So you know players that want to contribute to the clan and events make you do that. You know so that's you know it's part of it. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, Steeler, do you have anything to add? Um, no, just that Reapers is awesome and SOH is too. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Sausage. 
<laughs> and sausage loves you <laughs> okay brilliant so that is going to be the end of the episode thanks so much for watching if you did like this please do like comment and subscribe and if you feel like joining uh, Reapers of Warframe do I assume go send Steela a message or who, who would you send if you yeah. do actually want yeah. to join in yeah um, yeah message me you can actually message sausage and your Don um, we've got mm -hmm. about 12 recruiters so if one of us doesn't get back to you we'll send you to someone that can mm -hmm. okay brilliant so yeah um, that's that alright thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon Bye-bye.